Today, Kobe and Shaq will be teaming up in the modern NBA. At one point in NBA history, Kobe and Shaq were one of the most dominant duos to ever play the game. Because of this, they will be getting their own expansion team in the current NBA to see how good they would be and to see just how many championships they would be able to win. I'm going to try to make this rebuild as realistic as possible. Throughout the fantasy draft that happened before the season started, I did just take a ton of role players. We don't really have any superstars on the team aside from Kobe and Shaq, and I mean, it worked out perfectly. We are on track to win over 60 games this season. There are definitely a couple players in the league that I am having my eye out on that we are going to try to trade for, but I mean, shoot, this roster definitely exceeded my expectations. You'll see why in a second when you see the players surrounding Kobe and Shaq. They're not bad by any means, but Kobe and Shaq are by far our only superstar caliber players as Kobe does win that most improved player award and neither of them make the all nba first or second team shaq and kobe both make the all nba third team kobe's only 21 right now shaq is 28 kobe does make the all defensive second team but shaq doesn't even make an all defensive team that is a huge shocker we are the first seat in the west we are the san diego surfs so that's the roster right now we would take a look at the player stats this year kobe did average 26 points five rebounds eight assists two steals and a block which is really good. Peyton Pritchard started at point guard, averaged 13, 4, 6 assists. Shaq with 24 points, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, and 2 blocks. I don't know how he didn't make an all-defensive team. DeAndre Hunter with 10 points, 3 rebounds, a little over assist, almost a steal. PJ Washington with 13 points, 5 rebounds. KCP off the bench had 6 points. Aaron Naismith off the bench had 8 points. Precious Achiba with 9 and 6. Then Steven Adams had 6 points and 8 rebounds. Then we also do have Markel Fultz, Cameron Payne, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Gordon Hayward, and Charles Basie, who I did throw in the G League. So I don't think our team is bad by any means, but I mean, Kobe and Shaq are by far the best players on the roster, and it's not close at all, which is honestly how it should be. We do have the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round. We do end up sweeping them, but we do have the OKC because they somehow made it as the fourth seed in the playoffs, so that kind of sucks for us. Oh my gosh, they added Ben Simmons. He averaged 6-6-3-1 this season, over 60% from the field as well. Actually, not a bad year for him we are down 3-0 to this okc squad and we get swept in the second round i'm not really that surprised i'm surprised okc was that low in the seedings as they do become nba champions i'm not too shocked by it shay just won finals mvp that okc squad is nuts i think it's more of a surprise that they were that low of a seeding honestly usually they're, they're top two top three seed we will go ahead and fire both of our head coach and our assistant coach here and bring in someone better because hey it starts at that coaching position we're gonna get kevin Oli as our head coach and then we're gonna find hopefully a balanced coach we are gonna make a trade and try to get a stretch big on the team and laurie marketing who is the biggest trade candidate i am going to be going for him i just blind here the jazz are literally right here all right we're gonna i guess just package every single role player we have that's going to start for us uh let's see gordon hayward's not playing Marco Fultz, you're not playing. Nikhil Alexander Walker, you're not playing. All right, we get Laurie on the team. I think this is the perfect big next to Shaq. Laurie doesn't provide much defense, but at seven foot, he can create his own shot, which is insane. We're also going to try to get Lonzo Ball at that point guard position. Just provides a good playmaking defensive role at that position. I would like to develop Dayron Holmes a little bit. Charles Basie out there in the G League, he usually plays pretty well, so I would like to run him, KCP, and Aaron Naismith off the bench. I don't really need PJ Washington. We can get rid of our first round picks and see if that's enough for Lonzo. It's not. All right, three first round picks. All right, we get Lonzo on the team next to Kobe. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have to sign Kobe back, don't I? That's an L. All right, well, hopefully this man just instantly signs with us. That's another 30 mil we just had to give up off rip, so that kind of sucks. We do need to get some type of wing on the team, preferably a defensive-minded 3 and D wing i don't hate sadiq bay 105 almost a steal last season really good shooting splits it's looking like he's our best option but malik monk would also be perfect off our bench as a scoring guard kcp can always play that small fourth position for us they are homes might honestly be starting for us in this first season let's love sadiq bay a contract and see if he wants to sign with us i hope he does at this point all right we get sadiq bay at that starting small fourth position looks like we are going to be a mid to high 60 win team again i really do plan on keeping lonzo and Lori marketing and locked in in the starting five next to kobe and shaq we'll see how sadiq played this season because we could package him and dayron home shaq actually just won mvp in the nba which is great for us he does make that all nba first team kobe is now up to the all nba second team is a 94 overall at 22 years old as 
well. And then Lonzo for us does make the all defensive second team, the only all defensive player we had, which that might be more surprising than Shaq winning MVP. Player stats, Kobe did have 29 points, five rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and a block. Check out 27 points, 13 rebounds, two assists, over a steal, over two blocks. How those aren't all defensive stats beyond me. Tadiq Bey actually locked in 11 points, five rebounds, an assist, and a steal. 39% from the field is not good. 32% from three is kind of mid too. Definitely his worst shooting splits by far since he's ever played. So we'll see if he stays locked in there. Lloyd did have 18, seven rebounds, an assist, and half a steal. 48% from the field, almost 40% from three, which is, is exactly what I wanted. Lonzo also did exactly what I wanted him to do. Nine points, four rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and a block. Shooting splits are all right, but that three-point percentage is really good considering he was taking almost five a game off the bench Aaron Naismith had nine points three rebounds a little over an assist and a steal 47% from the field 43% from three is huge part 36 stats are really good so maybe I start him in the playoffs Charles Basie did have five seven rebounds for us have a steal have a block Scotty Pittman Jr. wow 10 points three assists and a steal off the bench then KCP had six Aaron Naismith might need a start over Sadiq Bey and maybe I package them and Dayron Holmes for a better wing this year we'll see how this goes we're gonna check the playoff statistics after the first round here because we do have the houston rockets which we do sweep but we also swept in the first round last season they got smacked in the second let's see aaron a smith did average nine two two assists a steal over a block wow his shooting splits were fine too all right i think i'm gonna keep him in that starting lineup unless something bad happens we do it once again have the team that upset us last year they've added og they also sank precious achiwa who we did not get back i guess he just would rather play he is snake all right he is snake he left us for the team that swept us in the second round and now he's going to get swept in the conference finals just kidding they avoid it and we get the gentleman sweep against the team that smacked us last season Shaq does win western conference mvp average 32 points 14 rebounds three assists a steal and a buck looks like we do have the indiana pacers they actually just got nimhart on such an insane contract for the next like three years so that's huge for them, it looks like it's just their regular lineup. Yeah, it really is. They added Bruce Brown back on the squad. We will just simulate this game by game. I think we're going to get a round of sweep. We're up 3-0, and we win in four games. As Shaq also wins finals. MVP averaged 34 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists, a steal, 2 bucks. Shot 75% from the field in the entire series. That's insane. We will check the playoff statistics for Kobe, too. Averaged 29, 4, 8, 2, Steals almost a buck. Aaron Naismith in that starting lineup averaged eight points, three rebounds, two assists, a steal, half a block, 46% from the field, 38% from three. Honestly, the shooting splits were just so much better than Sadiq Bey. Off the bench, he actually shot really well. Looks like this man might just have to come off the bench. We'll just have to see. I just decided to give Ben Simmons a two year contract. With how he was playing in OKC a couple seasons ago, I don't hate him starting at that small fourth position. Last season, he did average seven, six, four. Uh, still half a block 53 percent from the field i think it's just worth giving him a shot this season it's funny how we have him and lonzo but that also means we don't need everybody on the roster when did i get kynrick williams i don't even know when that happened but like sadiq bay and aaron naismith we don't need unless i run oh hold up actually wait we might cook something up real quick let's move aaron naismith to the shooting guard position and then let's move charles basie to that backup five and I think we're just going to run that bench. We're going to trade Kynrick real quick for like a future pick or something. We still have Dayron Holmes who just hasn't had a spot on the team yet. But I mean off the bench I have Scottie Pippen Jr., Aaron Naismith, and Sadiq Bey. So I still don't have a minute for Dayron Holmes because essentially he's going to take that Charles Basie role. But Charles basically had a fantastic season for us last year. We're going to experiment with Ben Simmons at the small forward position. And if at the trade line, deadline it's not going well, we're just going to trade him. And there it is. We won 70 games this year Shaq does win another MVP back-to-back -back MVPs for him as obviously he's on that all NBA first team Kobe once again on the all NBA second team and we don't have any all defensive players I think that's been the biggest shocker of this rebuild Kobe making an all defensive team and Shaq not making a single one Kobe did average 36 eight assists two steals and a block this year Shaq with 27 points 11 rebounds four assists and still two blocks Lonzo Ball had 12 points, 4 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, half a block, 45% from the field, 39% from 3. Lowry was 17 points, 6 rebounds, an assist, and almost a steal. Ben Simmons just revived his career here, averaged 6.7 rebounds, 5 assists, over a steal, half a block, over 50% from the field. Did he take any threes? Nope. 
Sadiq Bey off the bench with 10 points. What were his shooting splits? 42% from the field, 36% from three. That is so much better. He could honestly start with those stats, but we're going to keep Ben Simmons starting. Aaron Naismith with nine points. Charles Basie had 5.7 rebounds, a little over assists. I have a steal and a block. Then Scotty Pippen Jr. had eight points, three assists, and a steal. We still didn't give any moment, any minutes to Daron Holmes the second, but it is what it is. The team was just too good. As we do beat Portland in five games in the first round, then we do have a Denver Nuggets squad. They've added Franz Wagner to the team, which is actually crazy. They still have Michael Porter Jr. and Aaron Gordon. I don't know who this is, but he is playing insane for them in the playoffs. Then off the bench, I think Capella, Christian Braun, Peyton Watson, Julian Strother. Pretty much just their younger guys are coming off the bench. We beat them in six games. They once again play a Thunder squad who's now added James Harden coming off their bench. They still have Precious uh, Chiwa. I honestly am not that worried. What is Shaq going to guard Shaq? There's absolutely no chance. We're up 3-1 and we close the series out in five. I don't think there's realistically anybody in the league right now who is going to be able to stop Shaq at 7 foot 1, 300 and 15 pounds we do it once again have the pacers in the finals we sweep them i meant to take that game by game oh well Shaq just took another mvp i think it's insane that he just averaged over 30 points a game with 11 rebounds five assists is also wild two steals over two blocks shooting 74 percent from the field is wild he's only shooting better from the field than from the free throw line our final squad was lonzo ben simmons and laurie marketing surrounding Shaq and kobe i think this is a pretty good Starting five around these players. Obviously, I would have preferred Sadiq Bey to start, but he just didn't shoot well last season. I think he's a better fit in the starting lineup than Ben Simmons, but all in all, I think the team worked out well. I like Scotty Pimpin Jr., Aaron Naismith, and Charles Bassey off the bench. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.